Hello. Just getting a game launched here. Maybe. There it goes. I was thinking about it. Excellent. I kept doing this funny thing. So on the previous streams, usually what I do when I launch a game and I have my waitings or my starting soon, um, I'll just leave the menu on while I'm like doing stuff on my computer. But with this game, if you tab out of it, it mutes the music. But also, the music is only about four minutes, and my starting soon is a is a five minute <laughs> timer. Um, so rather than boot the game in advance, I just threw it on Spotify. Seemed to work. Good morning, May. You had a rough night last night, huh? What's going on? Who's texting us? Morning. I'm somehow even more sore. This is bullshit. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. <laughs> I like that Bay has warmed up to us. That That is nice. Are we going to start by playing some Demon Tower? I'm tempted, but I think no. <laughs> I think I played that enough. Maybe later. Same with the guitar. I don't know if I'm going to start with some guitar right off the bat. Let's check on our bird, though. Seems, seems to be doing okay. Oh, did dad clear the crawl space? Maybe we can go in here now. Yeah, dad put him here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. All right, so we have to ask dad again. Dad hasn't done it yet. Damn it, dad. We ask you to do one thing and two things. Pick us up from the train station, already a failure, and two, move the boxes. It's not a lot. Hey, Mom. Good morning. Uh, did you feel it last night? What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Whoa. Oh, the, we're still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Hey, Pika, how are you? Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I I don't want you... Uh, I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Hung out with Greg. What did you do? Uh, went to the grocery store. That sounds exciting. Get anything special? Oh boy, sure did. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. Can't believe I read text in a game. You never read. I... So... I'll be honest. When I started streaming, I never intended to be the type of streamer that, like, would play text-based games on stream and read them because I am not a confident reader. Um, it's I'm dyslexic. It doesn't come naturally to me. Um, but a lot of the games that I play and enjoy are text-based. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. So uh, I don't know. I think it's just something that I've been practicing and needing to get used to. And, and we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I definitely think that some of the games I've played have, have made me a, a lot uh, better at reading aloud. But, you know, kind of depends. Also, hey, Gray Fox, how are you? Random sinkholes and swamps sounds like Florida. That, um, I don't know if they've said exactly where this takes place, but that, does, that wouldn't surprise me at all. 
I'm <laughs> good, don't worry. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, I remember, like, Spirit Fair, for example. Okay, Spirit Fair and um, Kentucky Route Zero were really difficult. Spir Spirit Fair was weird because it just threw a bunch of random words in there, like, just needlessly complicated words. Um, but the actual reading difficulty of the game wasn't that high. It just had, like, random words thrown in there. Uh, Kentucky Route Zero, though, it's written like a novel. And it's, like, it's a ton of, of words. Um, and there, and it's also, like, a higher reading level than I'm, like, comfortable reading aloud. And so after, like, the first episode of Kentucky Route Zero, I was like, I have to go back to this at a later day. Like, when, after maybe, like, a year of, like, being more confident streaming, or maybe it'll just be an off-stream game or something like that. But, whew, Kentucky Route Zero, like... I was tired by the end of it. <laughs> Didn't notice that? Yeah, like, Spirit Fair had a couple- it, it just had, like, tchotchkes is one. I, I'm playing Spirit Fair off stream now, and um, I know that that's, like, that's just an example, because I was like, what the heck is a tchotchke? Like, what? Huh? And then I went and googled it, and it's like, oh, it's like odds and ends. Got it. Okay. But, like, they couldn't just say, like, antiques or valuables or whatever. They went with tchotchkes. <laughs> My cat don't like the folks on the porch. Alright, where are we going? But yeah, like, playing... What was it? Um... Life is Strange, where everything has a voice actor, was such a nice, like, break. <laughs> Can't talk to you. Hey, Bay. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year. And like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna like, come along? Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt-putt out in the- out in Hunwick. May, that's actually not a bad idea. Sorry, gotta work. Oh, jeez, what's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So do you want to come along or not? Got a lot to do today, or let's hang out. Ooh, we, ooh we're getting a choice here. Are we committing to hanging out with Bay, or do we want to talk to Greg first? I think we should talk to Greg first. So you play very chill games? It depends. It depends. Um, I mostly play indie bullshit, is what I like to call it. <laughs> um, pretty much any indie game, I'm like, ooh, yes, I have an interest, yes. Um, but, like, artsy indie games are, are my go-to. Uh, but I also play, like, The Last of Us and... Um, I, I like the uh, I like the Bioshock games, and I'm trying to think of things that aren't indie that I play. Let me just like peek over to my PlayStation games. Uh, Spider Man, I enjoyed Spider Man a lot. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn is that indie? I don't know. It seems it seemed like a pretty large title. That's that what what that's even the question. What is indie? What really is indie? <laughs> Except getting over it. <laughs> All right, so okay, I I got getting over it in 2017, um, back when it launched, and I tried it for like 30 minutes or an hour or something because that's like when it came out, and so it was like all over the place then. And I was like, all right, okay, getting over it is it's you know it's a funny fad, but 
now that I like played it on stream a couple times, I actually see its merit as a decent game. Um, just as like the the point of overcoming something really challenging just to like say that you could or why what we have to gain from failing over and over again like that's kind of what the narrative of the game is right they they try to give value to failure and i think that's interesting um whether or not it's a fun game that's that's a little bit different but um it does interest me in terms of like a a, a game theory kind of way it's either a very chill game or freaking frustrating yeah yeah uh, let's say we got a lot to do today <laughs> to get back to the game for a moment uh, because I want to go talk to Greg first. Okay. And then maybe we can come back. I bet the game will let us come back. Horizon and Spider-Man not indie. Yeah, I know Spider-Man definitely isn't. Horizon I was on the fence, but I can... It seems like a pretty big studio that actually made it. It looks so sad and empty when we're not playing in it. Aw, Pottery Barn. Did you guys ever go to, like, a pottery barn kind of thing? I went to one when I was a kid growing up. It was called Clay Dreams, and it's actually still there, shockingly. Um, indie means developed by a small company. Right, but, like, what's the threshold for that? Is it five people? Ten people? Twenty people? Less than a hundred? I, I, I don't know. Um, Cyan, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, not working today. Okay, we'll come back. Good question. Yeah, there, I don't think there's an answer for it, to be honest. I think that indie is so subjective. Like, uh, but you can decide based on the game, <laughs> like based on the developer. Yeah, I get that. Because, like, Ori in the Blind Forest, I would consider that an indie title. But how many how many people developed Ori in the Blind Forest? I'm going to uh, pause the whole thing. How many people... We're, I'm getting tangenty, but I want to know. 20 people. 20 people made Ori in the Blind Forest. Okay. I actually thought it was more. I thought that more people worked on that game. Oh, I went out. I didn't mean to go out. I'm sorry. I'm just distracted. Back in we go. Let me in. Hey, hey, May May. Totally. What's up, dude? I was thinking about going to jail. Like, you're planning on going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? Had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Aw, oh, man. You're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. <laughs> the inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Ooh. Do we wanna hang out with Greg or Bay? What do you guys think? I, I, hmm. We hung out with Greg and uh, most recently, so maybe we should hang out with Bay. It's I'm I it's cool that the game's giving us a choice here. Let's say got a lot to do today. Cool later. All right, let's. I want to hang out with Bay. I want to make it up to her for like throwing up in her car. You know. Who the hell wrote the script? So cheesy. It is cheesy. Yeah. Uh, twelve twenty-three a.m. So you got to go to bed. Hell yeah. No worries. It is late. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good some have some good sleep. There we go. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping in. 
Uh, da, 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 da. And Cyan, you're doing okay? Playing right now will be hopping in and out. Sounds good. It wasn't, it wasn't the video store. I'm getting lost. Okay, it is past the video store. Good night, Pika. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a good night. And yeah, Cyan, I'm doing good. I've got some chili in the crock pot right now. So in like, I don't know, 20-ish minutes or something, I'm gonna uh, get up to give that a stir. Um, it looked like perfect when I started it. I pre-cooked stuff a little bit. Um, and now that it's been going for a couple of hours, the water's coming out of the veggies and it's getting a little bit wet. Uh, a little bit runny, so I took the lid off and I turned the heat up a little bit to try to boil off some of the extra liquid. And so now I just like want to make sure I'm checking it every like 40 minutes to give it a good stir, make sure it's not getting too dry. So do you want to come along or not? Yeah, let's hang out. Okay, I'm good. I'm glad that I checked with Greg first because it would have just thrown me straight into this side quest. Okay. Oh no, I'm out of coffee. Couldn't you just like refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. Hey, Orc. How you doing? You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. Never been back uh, back up here before. May Broski, you have now been here. It's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins and people turned into houses. Some hunting cabins. So don't, like, get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder! It ain't murder if it's animals. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Allie, hello. How are you guys doing? Thanks for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through four alarm, <laughs> through a fi uh, four, four alarm fire, but that furnace. Well, uh, we'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. You can't take a woman's husband just because he died. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed, all right. They just couldn't abide by, uh, abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're here. We bill by the half hour. <laughs> Ellie, I'm doing good. I've, I was just saying I've got some chili in the, uh, some chili in the crock pot right now and it's just it's been making the house smell divine all day good job yeah it's a nice fridge what's the problem oh there's no problem it's just a classic an original luna freeze wow they were all the rage when i was your age they last forever they make me feel so young i saw one of these the other night when i got back into town oh really where Upside down, under some logs in a creek in a ravine. So, furnace. Oh, yes, right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. Alright, we'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. 
or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. Don't really know who you are, a little person. <laughs> Got some cornbread to go with it? I don't, I don't have like a good vegan cornbread recipe, but KY was like, I'm getting cornbread for the chili. And I was like, y you do that, you, yes. Enjoy. <laughs> I've got some sourdough bread. I'll probably just like dip the sourdough in it. That's I'm not picky with bread. <laughs> Hell yeah, KY. Okay, Ali, I've got a funny story for you. Um, so I I don't cook with peppers very often. It's I'm not like super familiar with peppers in general. Like I know that some are hot and some are not. Okay. Um, but I was I picked up all the ingredients from the chili and I'm following this recipe like to the T, like just following it exactly so I don't fuck it up because I've never made chili before. I, I am I just got this crock pot, so it's like all new for me. And I asked KY, I'm like, how spicy do you like your chili? And he was like, yeah, like pretty spicy. I'm like, good, cool, because I got two jalapenos and the recipe only calls for one, so I'm gonna double up that spice. And he just laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, oh, honey. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I, 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 put, I put both peppers in there. I added the seeds, you know. I doubled up on the cayenne and, the, um, and put in extra chili powder. And I tasted it. And it's like, it's not the hottest chili I've ever had. But it's like, it's pleasant. It's pleasantly spicy. But, yeah, he laughed at me. <laughs> oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this, splendor. Jeez, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> all right, let's get this done so we can go home. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 Bay the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out? No smoke at all? But like, I've seen you smoke. Yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think all the smoke was going? I thought you were swallowing it? May, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. What even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad. That's what That was my major. KY knows. God, he lived in Texas. Then his Texas comes out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was, yeah, that was basically what he said. He was like, I lived in Texas for several years. When you say spicy chili, like, it's mild to me. <laughs> but it, it looks great so far. It's going to be very tasty. And you know what? As long as it's spicy enough for me, that's what matters. Because I made it. KY is like watching the VOD right now and he's like, oh, I, sh I shouldn't have said anything. This was a mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's the furnace. Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay, you just hang out. I'm gonna go fix this qu real right quick. Don't like break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap. Oh boy, are we gonna break something? Oh, jeez. okay, shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Jeez, this is one old ass fan. It's made of metal and you could chop your finger off. Can I like... Uh, whenever I see the hand, it makes me think I can interact with it, but... I, I guess not. Fish, fish, fish. Like there, I've got the hand thing again, but I can't do anything. There's a bat here, which is 
pretty ominous. Are we gonna smash everything in this basement? Ah, my old nemesis, Professor Lucas von Gnome. Nomo? Gnome? Gnomeo? Again with the hand icon. What if I just... Nope. Alright. It's like maybe if I just hold the controller in a certain direction. I bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who would even have this much junk? This is nothing compared to my basement like a year ago. So when uh, I when I when my previous roommates moved out, they left about a moving truck's amount of garbage in the basement, and I had to hire a garbage crew to actually haul it out, and it was like five hundred dollars, I think. Um, and then my downstairs neighbors also had stuff in the basement, so we actually split the cost. So my share was 500 and they had 500 and it was like an entire truckload. I think they billed us for a truck and a half amount of garbage that had to be hauled. It was crazy. Um, yeah, okay, I could see this being useful. Alright, we stole... Oh wait, we're, we're like taking stuff, what? This looks useful. I need your expertise to fix the stupid furnace, Professor. Can't take the bat yet. All right, so I can't carry anything else. I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. So, got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two weeks with a, two wheels with a turny thing, with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing. To open up the heat pipes. Clanky's probably got loads of heat, but it can't get out. To get Clanky all hot and bothered, we will teach Clanky to love. I bet I could, hmm. Uh, I could use the racket as a handle. Hey, give me a lever big enough. I can move the world, right? I think Nomi could bite into the turny thing where the wheel was. I could use a racket as a handle. I'm not, yeah, let's do the racket. Yeah, that would work. Although, we're not always going to be here to pull it. One thing, one good hard pull should do it. Let's say one good hard pull. Okay, focus. Work this out, May Brofsky. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to get stuck in a cave. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Just been smelling chili all day. Oh my god. Um, could go for some of that wolf. That donut wolf. There's that video online of Slammer Cake Machine, of their Slammer Cake Machine. Watching it was how I fell asleep like half the nights at school. Big complicated machine making delicious cakeums. I can't imagine how anyone built something like that. Everything works perfectly, but it's so weird looking. Like someone was just making it up as they went along and somehow created perfection. Maybe I should just wing this too. Uh, just do it fast so I don't overthink it. All right, let's do it. Okay, tie the racket to the turny thing and then tie that to the fan, but wait. How am I gonna keep the fan from rolling up like a from rolling up like a big fanfish? Okay, sorry, no me. I'm gonna have to put you upside down like a vampire. I think they used to bury vampires upside down when they tried to so when they tried to dig out of their coffins, they just dig down because haha, stupid vampire. Now you're in the center of the earth and you died. Again. Hey, this looks great! I'm like an engineer or whatever makes machines. A machine engineer. All right, let's give this baby a go. Yeah, Jerry rig that shit. <laughs> okay, done. What? Bay told us not to touch anything. I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. 
We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Oh, freaking crap. I was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm gonna go check the exit. <laughs> Bay is like not here for it. Wait here. Damn it. Well, we're locked in. Ugh, I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid Bay. We can cut a hole in the floor. Uh, see if you can yell. It's not gonna work. Miss Miranda! It didn't work. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. Alright, it's time for the bat. I knew that this day was coming. Give it to me. Give me the bat. Give it to me. Let me- Ah, oh, I wanna smash stuff. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Are we gonna smash the furnace that we just fixed to get out? <laughs> Give me the bat. Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I know how to use. A tool for beating ass. Love the way she runs. Yeah, the animations in this are very good. Oh, I feel bad. Why can't we just use this on the door? It won't... Oh, it won't actually let me. We're doing so much property damage. <laughs> Suck it, you piece of crap, Furnace. Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear it back in town. Okay, cool. She's coming. Thank God. Uh, thank me. More like, hey, Miss Miranda, you locked us in. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You all right? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. You not like lemonade? It's fantastic. Then what's up? Nothing. Just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Ugh, you're zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. We did just, like, show up to fix the furnace and then demolish it so like just made Bay's life worse you know <laughs> yeah one way to fix things right We gotta, we gotta get all the fireflies. Oh, this is so cute. Give me the fireflies. Gimme, gimme, yeah. Look at all these fireflies, bae. Wow. <laughs> you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, Maybrowski. No. Granddad said being interesting is all you can hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woohoo! Ellie, how are you doing today? Happy Sunday, by the way. You know, I have to say this would have been much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. 
Along for the ride. I believe I worked pretty hard down there. I should get a cut of the bill. Not a chance, you're an unpaid intern. Fight for it, right here, right now. You should like channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Er, Dr. Hank said it was, <laughs> it was said way back I needed to repress it. Repress, not like learn to deal with it. He specifically said repress. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think Miss Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that, like, what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. Probably took a lot of heart. Yep. Wish she would have ex. Explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked him. Okay, that probably stayed in place. That should stay where it belongs. This is, this is a lot. I'm leaving. Exactly. Good. Good. Thank you, Bay. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta live your life. Bye. This is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. <laughs> You've got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm calling the police. This type of pun, this level of pun is too much. Okay. Dad, you didn't move the boxes. We, we've got to talk about this. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hook salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Bridge, hello, welcome in. How are you doing today? Bear. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh. You kids with your slang. Slang could pick up a job at work. Yeah, alright, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I was thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Carbo Malloy is starting. Ah, yeah. Doing good. Survived Odin's bachelor party. Oh, boy. Oh, I bet that was a trip. <laughs> I'm sure it was a lot of fun. When I say a trip, I just mean, I, I mean there was probably a lot of drinking involved. Ah, yes. You know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You gotta hear about the new law on the books. Pirating a movie online. You know about that? I do. Punishable by up to ten years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. It was a lot of fun, and yes, plenty. <laughs> good. I'm glad it was a good time. Sounds awesome. I wonder if pirating a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about the law? What, Garbo? That's a WAPA. Is Odin okay? Fair question, Allie. That is, that is a, that is a reasonable question. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. He'll make it to the wedding, at least. <laughs> I'd hope so. Alright. Let's go upstairs. We'll check on those boxes tomorrow. Hey, punk, what'd you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement, beat up a furnace. Right on, man. Night-night. 
Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You're pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling. I'm glad I could help facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insect insects. It seems to come down to a lot of heat and various odors. Come down a lot to heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, man. Night. That was cool. That was cool. Bedtime? Yeah. No. Can't live in bed, May. Play some bass. But which song? We have so many new songs. Space Dragon, Die Anywhere Else. Now we have Weird Autumn and Go Get Dead Angel Face. I don't know. Have we played Weird Autumn? Let's let's just do it. I don't remember this name. I was doing so well. glad that the PlayStation uh, buttons are correct here because I'm playing this on the itch itch.io launcher not the Steam launcher and the Steam one it always has the Xbox buttons even if I set it to be like the right controller in the UI or in, in not the UI but the it just in the settings ah Whoops. I don't know if we've done that one before. I don't think so. Not bad considering I don't know how to play the song. Did I ever beat that tough 8-bit style minigame? No. I got closer, but I haven't given it another chance since the the, the uh, most recent stream. Bedtime? Yes. Also, I know we haven't even been live for an hour yet, but I need a I need a quick bio break and I need to stir the chili. So I will be right back. Ooh, this is cool. Alright, I'm gonna I'll be two minutes, probably less than two minutes. Just gonna gonna stir the chili. BRB.
Okay, I'm back. Chili's looking really good. It's it's thickening up nicely. I'm gonna let it go for probably like one more hour, I think, and then it's just it's gonna be perfect. I'm so I'm so excited. Crock pots are cool. Okay, okay. All right, we're back. Uh, can I do like a manual save now? I don't want to hold and quit. I'm so paranoid. So I've been playing. I, I've, I, I'm going to keep mentioning this, but I'm playing Spirit Spiritfarer off stream now, and uh, the game keeps crashing on my Switch. Every, like, I don't know, hour or so, it'll just crash, and I'll lose anywhere from, like, two minutes of progress to, like, 20 or, 20 or 30. I like these little dreams, dream sequences. Let them beans get nice and soft. Yeah, I um, I used canned beans. Uh, my roommate has, makes chili using dried beans. Um, but he warned me when I when I started cooking. He was like, don't use the dried beans. It'll it'll take forever. Canned is blasphemy? But then how else but they how else do you cook them? It took my roommate like a full 24 hours to cook his when they were dried. Have I played any other games on my Switch since? Do you think it's the Switch? It's definitely the game. I looked it up and it's a common issue with that game and I've never had any other game crash on my Switch. <laughs> yeah, it takes forever. <laughs> Worth it though. Maybe next time, if I'm, if I have like a full day that I can, or like day and night, like a full 24 hour stretch that I can dedicate to it. I don't know if I could smell chili for that long and not like I don't know, die of starvation. Even if I was eating other things, you know what I mean. Uh, let's see. Where else do we have to go? For 16 hours, you just smell the beans. Gotcha. You only had the other stuff at the end. Okay, so we've gone this way. Where have we not gone yet? Let's go. It looks like we have to go down. You see this? You see the light? The game's telling us where to go. There we go. Um, but speaking of this like cool dream sequence, so I don't dream very often. It's very rare that I'll have a dream like in real life. Um, but last night I had a, a really vivid dream. Um, that I was like on this alien world that was not like habitated by people, but there was like a station there of people who had been there for a while, like long enough that, tr that trash was becoming an issue and they were making little like garbage dumps and stuff of junk that wasn't needed anymore. Um, so there would be like trash yards with, uh, can I not go this way? Like old furniture, dreamt of Wally a little bit, um, not not quite because there were people that in, that were inhabiting it, and there was uh, evidence of alien life, but no aliens. Um, and so, like the people there were doing research, and it was kind of like a snowy biome. Um, I've been all day. I've been trying to think of like where. I have seen this environment before that my brain plugged it in, but I can't actually think of it. It was kind of snowy, but it wasn't like... It wasn't like Subnautica Below Zero, but it was kind of like a cold place. This is pretty, by the way. Um, and while doing like some scavenging and stuff, I found like a living alien. Um... And upon, like, reporting it, everyone wanted to, like, kill it because it was a more advanced species 
and we didn't want to like be harmed by it but I was like no you can't and so then I went and hid out with the alien and then I woke up poor E.T. <laughs> How do I get up? How do I go up, though? It was- it was more like... It was kind of more like Prometheus. Like, going to the alien planet and there's alien stuff there. Um, and then there were, like, some people. A small station of people, but not, like, a whole city. But it wasn't like horror. None of it was horror themed. Am I always in your dreams? You know, no. Um, I don't think. If Dreaming of Prometheus, it's called a nightmare. So, so it wasn't. I'm using that to describe the kind of environment that it looked like, but it wasn't. It wasn't a horror dream at all. Here we go. Giant squirrel. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because I don't really distinctly remember in the dream that the protagonist or whatever was me, but I just kind of assume that it was. Um, but everyone else in the dream, I didn't know or recognize. Like, everyone was just random stand-in people. But it's weird. I The last time I had a dream like that was probably more than six months ago. It's very rare that I'll have a vivid dream and actually remember it the next day. Uh, and if I do, it's usually a nightmare. So I was, I woke up and I was like, huh, neat. Good morning, May. It's weird when you're in other- when you're other people in your dreams. Yeah, that does sound scary. It's more often for me that the people in my dreams don't have any, like, known identity. Just sort of like, yeah, just stand in people. First thing we gotta do upon waking up is check our PC. Yep, we've got texts, gotta check those. Is Discord on here? Hey, Boyle, I work all day, very bored, work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. Hey, got a call from Miss Miranda. Apparently she's upset that we messed up her basement, whatever. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day, just saying uh, if you wanna say hello. I'm here to be hello at. So we're definitely gonna hang out with Greg today because we hung out with Bay yesterday. We gotta we gotta get some variety of our friends group. Also, Greg is like the best. Let's check the crawl space. Maybe Dad moves stuff. If not, we'll yell it. God damn it, Dad! All right, we're gonna yell at Dad again. Tell him to move his goddamn goddamn crap. Say hi to Mom. Hey, Mom. You look more tired than normal. Yawn. Morning, long night. Yeah. Went to work with Bay. Oh, are you gonna work there? No, Mom, I was just tagging along. Though I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was, like, a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Mom seems upset. Okay. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay. Shame we can't, like, give Mom a hug there. Something. All right, so we're gonna go, we'll go say hi to Bay, and then we're gonna go hang out with Greg. One day I want the mailbox to break. 
Do do do. We're skipping. We're skipping down the street. Yay. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Can't talk to you. Casually committing felonies, destroying mailboxes. I mean, that's our MO. That is, that's what May does best. We haven't gone to the, uh, the little shop down here in a while. Let's go check it out. I can't believe they kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because old people like pierogi stands. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Wife long gone, kids don't care, tunnel fish are always there. Haha, <laughs> yeah man. Oh god, please don't listen. Delicious pretzels. I want to take a pretzel. I would like to steal a pretzel, please. Oh, hello? Hey, it's May. I remember. Old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. Uh, what did you want to tell me about Grandad? Well, I'll only say if you really want to know. Is it scandalous? Oh, I don't think so. I'm old enough that nothing feels scandalous anyways. Is that a thing that happens when you get old? Ugh, depends on the life you led. Oh, okay, anyways. You got a history for troublemakers in your family. Your dad's side, daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough, you get, you got folks that were around for the real hard times when the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I remember something about that. Want a pretzel? I could go for a pretzel now. Although really any food right now would be top tier. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just chilly. I can smell it. <laughs> Movie theater pretzels are top tier. Yeah. The other day, I, uh, when I went to go see, um, Venom, the movie theater had multiple different seasonings for your popcorn. And they had like a, um, a kettle corn seasoning. And I was just like, yes, yes. Why don't all movie theaters have this? I'm like, maybe next time I'll just bring my own cinnamon sugar to the movie theater to put on my popcorn. Oh, so good. Oh yeah, I remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. Might've gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. I can, can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No, nah, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see you. That was pleasant. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. What are, um, what are all of all of y'all's favorite movie snacks? Or even like, what's the what's the funniest thing you've brought to a movie theater for snacks? Because like, in college, it was anything I could fit in my backpack, right? Um. Uh, we want to talk to Bay first. So we're actually going to go this way. Barbecue? Hell yeah. One time I brought... Oh, I wonder if, uh... What's his name? Is working. He is! Hey, man. Um, I brought sushi into movie theater a couple of times. Uh, but this was, like, long before they had the trays in front of the seats. And so it's just, like, sitting there in the pitch pitch black and you like can't use the soy sauce or chopsticks or whatever because it's just too dark so you're just eating sushi with your hands <laughs> that was that was fun i used to do that with my dad <laughs> took wendy's one time see that sounds perfect that sounds like the perfect movie theater snack used to work at rudy's barbecue and took some with you straight to the movie hell yes you sneak in all kinds of stuff yeah usually i would bring my own popcorn 
um, because of my dairy allergy, I could never eat the popcorn or any of the snacks really, except for candy. So I would just like make popcorn in the microwave bags and then just put it into my, into my backpack and just bring it with me. Hey May. Hey Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, a favorite horror movie? Yeah. Uh, Scythe, Sabbath, Black Oaks. Sure. Oh, nice, witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell and scary. Yeah, that one's like historical, the witchy version. Well, see you later. Bye. Why not the popcorn? Just butter. Just because they put butter on top. Some places will use coconut oil, and I always am super appreciative of that. Uh, because it tastes great, and it gives me the butter, buttered popcorn sensation. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, wow. You drink like all the coffee? I had like two or three cups of coffee today. It was excellent. I can't have coffee. It makes me anxious. Oh, wow. That sucks. And it tastes gross. Lies. That was a lie. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. Seems like a lot of hassle to make something gross taste okay. All right. Good point. So dude, 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 I want to do something, something, something. Yeah, man, let's go. I, we didn't check in with Bay, but that's all right. We hung out with her yesterday. Finally invested in cold brew for home. Nice. What kind of thing did you get? Cause I've got like this, this big glass base, big glass container that has like a, um, a filter inside it. And you just put the coffee in and it overnight cold brew. It's so, so good. I recommend it to everyone. Look at us go on the bike. Where are we going? Oh, you bought like the pre-made cold brew? I mean, this, the Starbucks one is pretty good. I've had that a few times. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. I did that for a while. Eventually, I, it just got a little expensive for me because I only drink cold brew, and so I was just like, "Eh, I'll just, I'll just get something to make it." For a while, I was just using like a French press, and I would just put it in and then press it the next morning. Uh, but you always get a ton of grounds doing it that way. Uh, so that that I got annoyed with after a while. No, it's like a kit you can get off the internet. Uh, Germ and me put it together. So it's like a motorcycle now? No, it's a motorized bike thing. It's different. Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now. I ride a bike. So, like, where are we at? The woods. All right. Doom, 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 doom. Log bridge to Valhalla! Cross and die, immortal. This log gonna snap, we're gonna break our legs. And we have to crawl back to town. Or die like bears and of like bears and cold. Remember when we used to knife fight? Uh, yeah. We'd go home with like cuts all over our hands. So dumb. Well, I... What? I got knives. Right now. Just saying. Holy shit. Yeah, you're on. First to wuss out like three times loses. Oh, shit, are we gonna- we're fucking with knives? <laughs> Come get out, Gregor. Say goodbye to your fingers. This is terrible. What are we doing? What? <laughs> Stab me once, shame on you. Stab me thrice, shame on... Yice. Okay, okay, okay. First one to wuss out three times. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Stop stalling. On guard! Get stabbed. Oh! Why are we doing this? Oh, no! No, no! <laughs> Why, what? Oh. <laughs> laugh now, laugh now. You won't be laughing when I gut you. Oh no, my poor guts. Try not to try to not to stab a tree instead of me. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, go, go. Ah! This is a bad game! Ah! No! Stop it! Ah! You okay? No pity, Greg. No pity. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Go, go. Ah! Stop! Greg, stop! This is a terrible game! Shh! Rawr. Did I get your knuckle there? Oh man, I'm gonna have to explain this to my parents. Yeah, Ellie, like what the fuck? What is this game? Attacked by a dog again? <laughs> nah, they'd ask why it had a knife. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Go, go. Why is he so much better at this? Okay, jeez, done. Haha, <laughs> you suck. You wouldn't last a day on the streets. Also, are you okay? Feeling a little woozy. Might shock you to find out that I don't knife fight very much. I wouldn't either if I was that bad at it. Oh, my poor hand. Okay, well, that's probably enough stabbing for today. All this blood gonna detract predators. Good point. You guys don't play with knives. It's not okay. Shank his ass. Orc, please. He's our friend. Wait, why did you have two knives? Uh, good question. Let's break this log. With the knives? No! It's, this is probably gonna kill us. Nah, dude. Good point. Jeez. Yeah, man. Y'all, my idea of having fun is, like, staying inside and eating burritos. Like, when I was a kid, I watched TV, played video games. I think the most adventurous thing I did as a kid, like, on my own time, without my parents' supervision, was, like, maybe going for a bike ride. Yeah, knives weren't really on the table of things you do to have fun when your parents aren't around. You were a tree climber? Nice. I did that a little bit, but I never really did it without supervision, I guess. Took a book up in the tree? I guess there weren't very many good climbing trees near me. Yeah? Like, if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods, or, like, there's ice in a big rock, like, you have to kick the tree over to break the ice. Like, I can't not do that. Yeah. Hmm. The, like, the feel of... It's different now. Because I was here! Okay, yeah, okay. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's gonna die or get born because we broke that log. Crap, man. Yeah. Uh. Shwoop. I was gonna say, I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well, hunting wasn't my thing. But, I mean, dude. 
Like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? Nah, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he was definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. I was pretty annoyed by that at the time. Really? I think you think you would have liked it? Probably, actually. Like, just buck hunting or something. Season starts uh, day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyways. I would have liked to have been asked, at least. You want to shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on there? The forest god. Like in the story? Yeah. Looks like you just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. You work. Bang, bang. With what you got. You want to shoot it, dude? Uh, yeah. You should go stand in front of it and I'll, like, shoot over your head. No! <laughs> dude. Okay, okay, fine, gimme. I thought he was gonna be like, that's a great idea! Wow, this is heavier than I expected. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Then I just shoot wherever? Not at me. All right. Bam. All right, so I, I don't think there's any kind of like, you just, you just hit the button. I don't think you have to like hold it or anything. And I have no control over where this uh, points to. I just kind of have to wait. Come on, go up. What? Oh, there we go. Now it's loaded. Dude, you brained it. I surely did. All right, loaded. I think I missed. Well, that shot sure went far. Quantity or quality? Oh, oh it's giving me a headache. Ugh. Yeah! I said in between the eyes, not in the eyes! But that was so close! Close ain't good enough, partner. Headshot! Have any of you ever gone hunting? Is that a pastime for you? Oh, guys. This... Brained! Nope. There it goes. So I like, I've never gone hunting, but shooting targets and stuff I enjoy. Brained! I'm out of bolts. It's cool. That was fun. I can take on vampires now. You could, you could. Vampires of Possum Springs. They're out there. Shiny teeth. Shiny as the night. Your dad's gone hunting. You've uh, been to a gun range a couple times. Yeah, I've gone to a gun range before once. Um, I don't know if I'd do the gun range again because, like, I held the gun right and my hand was just shaking. Just, like, I couldn't even hold it. It was shaking. I, I was just shaking so much. I was, I was like, this is a lot. This is a lot for me. But, like, bow and arrow? Yeah. Or, like, axe throwing? I've done axe throwing. That's cool. Um... Somewhere near me, there's an axe-throwing bar that I've been meaning to check out. Because that just sounds like a great combination. Go get drunk and then throw axes. <laughs> don't be scared, it's just a tool. I Yeah, I don't know. It was like a subconscious thing. Like, I couldn't suppress it. Even though I was just firing at targets, right? Like, I, there wasn't a chance that I was going to hurt myself or anyone else in, in those circumstances. But man, just actually like seeing the thing in person and actually holding it, I was just like, oh, I'm sure I'd get over it. If I went again, I'm sure I would get over it pretty quick. But whew, I wasn't even aiming at the target. I was just like, ah, just getting used to holding it. <laughs> 
Okay, enough shooting for one day. But yeah, the axe throwing bar sounds like good fun. I think I'd be pretty good at archery. So. What the hell was that? Yeah, it's been happening lately. What has? Electrical stuff. Huh. So, I don't want to be nosy, but you seem a little up and down today? Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general, but... Uh, I'm a good person, right? Sure. I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg badly. Is Angus in trouble or something? We all need a Greg. Yeah, but with Angus, he hasn't had the best life. His family is, like, pure trash. How so? Just, like, assholes. Really stupid assholes. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I don't want to screw this up. Are you two doing alright? Yeah, I think. We've had some arguments lately. About what? Uh, stuff. But I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future if it was just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore, and I stare at the ceiling, and I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. And... Greg, Greg, calm down, dude. You're good. And Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill. Etc. Greg, etc. <laughs> a lot of people feel the same way about guns. Yeah, like, I, I didn't expect I would have that reaction, to be honest. And then I was there. <laughs> so. And, you know... He's got that ass. That ass. That ass. Oh my god, thank you for finally saying it. It's a fantastic ass, right? Fantastic. Okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. Only his ass. And who could blame you? I forget what I was gonna say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up up days and really down down days, and I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through on general blah right now. <laughs> what kind of birds are those? I have no idea. Hey, bird! Northern dumbfowl. Eastern skinny bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. Alright, you guys. I've got a game for you. I have to tell you about this game. It's a very important game. Uh, it's called Birds Are Awesome. Um, and this is... A, I'm gonna grab it, actually. It's right It's right here. It's important. This This is worth the, worth the detour. Hold on. All right, I keep this game in my wallet at all times. It's just important to me. Oh, it's called Birds Are Amazing. This is it. Birds Are Amazing. This is the whole game, okay? And I'll, I'll summarize the premise for you, or maybe I can just read it. I'm gonna read it. Birds Are Amazing begins when you see a bird you can identify by name. Point the bird out to your friends and say, look, it's that type of bird. And the game has now begun. Share, playing the game. Share a fact about that bird with your friends. Birds Are Amazing is about impressing your friends with your most stoic bird knowledge. So avoid using well-known facts, like swans were historically used as lie detectors throughout medieval Europe. Or 30% of owls are actually humans enchanted by wizards or even the eagle is the fifth and least important member of the gull family. 
Birds facts must be factual, though they need not be true. The best bird facts cannot be found in any book, but lie, didn't, but lie hidden deep within the recesses of your heart. Once you've shared a fact, a friend will feel compelled to tell you a, uh, a bird fact of their own. They may choose to, uh, to share a fact about a different type of bird altogether. Welcome this. Every bird is amazing. Uh, ending the game. Once begun, a game of birds are amazing never ends. So follow them on Twitter. Birds are amazing. Uh, let me hold it up. It's uh, Hand Bandit. And Twitter. Actual bird names. There we go. I got this at Boston Festival for Indie Games. And uh, I just, I love it. Like I said, I keep it in my wallet at all times. I, I think it's important. Just like, you know, walking down the street and you see a robin and you're like, Oh look, a robin! Did you know that only female robins can sing? The males are too self-conscious. They, they won't sing. Only the females will sing. You know? It's good fun. But if you get a couple of friends that like really play along with it, it it's just it's it's so good. It's my favorite game. Alright, back to this game. Secret facts. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed my tangent about birds. Alright, this is real good. That's real good. So I'm really glad that this game played my other game. It's another game within this game. More gameception. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what's up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Huh, well, I hate to be one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood vaguely stressed. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. No, no, you'll have that, too. Uh, cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Bob. How about those crawl space boxes? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. Garbo and Malloy. And we're back! A great crowd in there tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Stay, Garbro. Yeah, Malloy? Uh, crowds uh, like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyways. No, I mean those old nights, those good nights. Just like the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle being thrown at your head. These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. <laughs> That's a whopper. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. What a show. Let's check Discord. What's up, Greg? Hey, kid. Hey, yo. Thanks for hanging earlier. No problem, dude. How are your knife wounds? I ran them under some water. Figured that'll fix them. I actually cringed a little bit thinking about like a, a hand covered in in like knife wounds and then just sticking it under water. <laughs> Sounds right. Sorry, I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just, yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night bra. Hey, bae, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were, like, 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. 
Gonna get back to work. Night, night. Who should we hang out with tomorrow? Should we hang out with Greg more or Bay? Bedtime? Yes. Let's do it. I'm not sure who I like better. Like, who who I like better as, as a character, or as a friend, I should say, for May. Because Greg, like, is the nicer one, right? But he's also, like, a relatively bad influence. Um, I know there was some more stuff down here that maybe I should go check out first. What happens if I... Oh, I can't jump off, actually. Alright, there was nothing down here. A waste of time. Up, up, up we go. Let's go left first. Uh, do we jump? Oh, we do. I was right. Okay. Are we on a train? Are we on, like, some weird train? Maybe not. Where are we? Aha, I found one. I do like the introduction of the music. Allie, you streaming tonight? Gotta go up, okay. You are! Hell yeah. Did you finish, um, Outlast 2? These parts of the game are your fave. Yeah, me too. You did. I forget. You've definitely told me what comes next, but I forget. Please share. Shock. Ah, uh, yeah. What? Is that Greg? Hanging out there? Yeah, I feel that. Because you mostly play games on stream that you've played before, right? Also, was it... I'm trying to remember how that... The name of that game is pronounced. I think I said Visage. But I think I've definitely gotten it wrong. Try to go back and forth with it. Visage. That seems even weirder. I believe you, but weird. Visage? Oh, there's the next one is top left, okay. Up, 
we go. How do we get across here? Ugh. Oh, I see. I get it. What? Come on. Words are hard. I will immediately Google a word. Uh, you, a word you don't know because excuse? I sometimes do that. I should do it more. Google is your friend, yeah. I should, I should. You Google a lot of things. I will Google like a lot of random stuff. Your big reader as a kid, so it helped with your vocab. Yeah, see, I, I like never really did that as a kid. Like, I did read, um, definitely growing up, but not like a ton. It's like I would, I would read maybe a tiny bit more than was required for school. <laughs> but it was never really like a big thing that I thought was fun. I found reading more stressful than fun. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Is it Halloween? Away message. Annual harvest play tonight at Old Pickaxe. Come out and see Haunted History of Possum Springs. Alright. I want to wake up. I want to do a little more bass, but which song? I think there was... We did Weird Autumn. Ooh, Cycles is new. Let's do Cycles. That song, you know that song. Reading was your skate between that and video games. Makes sense. For me, I watched a lot of TV as a kid. I played a lot of video games, too. Yeah, I don't know. Being dyslexic as a kid and having that go like undiagnosed I thought whenever I was not great at reading um I felt a lot of shame for that because the teachers wouldn't understand why I wasn't getting it or why why I was slow or why I was getting words wrong and spelling and stuff um so I, I internalized a lot of shame for reading And what's kind of crazy is I didn't actually figure out that I was dyslexic until like a year ago. I just thought reading didn't come naturally to me.
I did it! <laughs> I don't think I got any wrong there. Uh, I watched more movies because you couldn't afford cable, but once you got cable, it was all over shows. Oh, man. From, yeah, for me, it was TV shows like, oh, man, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, whatever was on, I was watching it. This time, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it stunk. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Uh, yeah, it was pretty much perfect. I actually really like this. Maybe one more, but which song? Have we done Go Get Dead Angel Face? I think we have. I'm trying to think if there are any here that we haven't done. I wish they were in order, but it doesn't seem like they're in any order. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we won't do one. Oh, I'm getting really hungry. All I've had today is breakfast. I'm like dying for that chili. I should probably go stir it. Give it a... Right, let's talk to mom first and then I'll go still stir the chili. Hey mom. Mm-hmm. Um, you okay? Sure, honey. You're lying. So honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Not really. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where is this coming from? You know, you're the... the first broski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was six. Well, honey, you've been planning it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and, uh, and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in the house. You are the moody one in the house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is that you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd have more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here. Because you never got in around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just more the maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Wow, May. What a dick move. What the fuck, May? That was that was unacceptable. May. May, that was that was a lot. Almost dinned in time. Okay, I'm gonna go stir that chili, and May is gonna think about what she just said. I'll be right back. I'm not even gonna put on the BRB screen. I'll only be a minute. I won't lie. It looks pretty damn good. I'm like, I'm wondering if I should put the cover back on or if I should let it boil down just a tiny bit more. 
you know, I'm going to give it another 20 minutes and then I'm, then I'm probably going to turn the heat down and put the cover on again. Thanks for your patience, y'all. All right. Um, May, do you have any apologies? Like, can we go apologize to mom? Nope, she will not talk to us. Don't blame her. God damn. So we know that... Look at all the pumpkins everywhere! Do you guys carve pumpkins for Halloween? Hey, Harvey. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh, he's like, I would so much rather if you didn't. Hey, Harvey. Harvey playing the drums. Pat, pat, pat on the microphone. Oh, what a tolerant boy. Good boy, Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. He is so chill. He's like, he's not happy though. He's like, I would be anywhere else but here, but he will put up with it for like a minute, right? Well, actually he'll put up with it for as long as you're holding him. Uh, but he'll just start whining. There you go. See, now he's whining. All right. Here you go, bud. Good boy. What a good boy. Yeah. Come up. Yeah. See, he's not even leaving. He's not that mad. Your cat would never. <laughs> Harvey's a very special boy. Aw, bud. He's so nice. Earlier, he was trying to snuggle with me, but I had just been making the chili, and so my hands had pepper on them, and so I, I couldn't touch him, because I didn't want him to get, you know, spicy. Spicy on him, because that's not fair. Oh my goodness, Harvey. Oh. He fully rolled into my hand. That's so cute. I love when he does that. He's being so sweet. We're having a cat cat moment here. Gotta pause the game. Right, good boy. If anybody wants those sweet full screen cat moments, we've got that cat treat redeem. In case anybody lurking doesn't know about it. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust the giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the... It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record. Since... Yeah, since 1984. <laughs> Maybe that's a clue. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone. Let's just take a step back down. Cool. Step back and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. <laughs> hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Wants that lovin'. Yeah, so, so I felt like such an idiot earlier. I was cutting the peppers. Um, and I saved, like, all the pepper stuff for last because I knew I didn't want to, like, touch everything else while also having touched peppers, you know. Um, and so I put them aside, did everything else. Um, I even cut up the peppers, put them in, mixed everything together, tasted it, added in the seeds back, and then washed my hands really thoroughly, right? Washed my hands, and then I scratched my eye. It was a mistake, um, and it was a learning experience for me, um, uh, because I thought that washing my hands would be enough, 
and it was not true. So then I'm like going to the bathroom sink and like holding, holding my head under the faucet and like trying to pour the water in my eye. <laughs> I was totally fine. And it went away after like three or four minutes, but I was just like, I'm an idiot. I'm the biggest idiot. Gotta get under the nails. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The nails was what did it. There was definitely was some residue under my nails. Use oil to break the stuff down. Yeah. In hindsight, I did not. I used, like, dish soap. That probably would have been better, but... Here we are. So this chili better be worth it. Mall cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. You're saying you don't really need it, then. You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Oh, everything is so great and harvesty. Which is basically just less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Yeah, I want to talk to people first. Oh yeah, I guess we can't talk to Bay Because she said she wasn't there, but... Who are you? You hype for Harvest? Um, Harvest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get pizza, too. All to myself. Wow. You have life figured out. Uh, you have life more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Ruining my life. Oh. Sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine. It's just a thing that happened. Oh, right. The thing. Yeah. That's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Yep. See ya. Later. I just realized that said party barn, not pottery barn. You know, eventually I'll see a word and uh, get it right. Someday. Not today. Someday. Angus, hello. Happy Halloween. Hey, hey. You too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely. Can't you tell? Do your spooky face. <laughs> the ears. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Uh oh. Nice effort, though. <laughs> Can't talk to him again. I want to be friends with Angus. Oh, Harvey, you're so chill over there. Good boy. Oh, no, I keep doing that. Oh, I always do that. I think because I, looking at this, I expect to move to the left, but then as soon as you open the door, you move to the right. And it confuses my brain. Hey, man, how's things? Good, Harvest Rush. No one's in here. You missed it. The whore. Oh. I done got whored. Getting horrid at work is the worst. When I had that job that one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job. Uh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So what's up? Um, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, we're gonna... Oh shit, oh shit. Yeah! <laughs> Smash. Boom! Yeah, got him! Bam! Why are we smashing these? Oh! What? Oh, jeez. Ah! Uh. Fuck. 
Ugh. Allie was reading your message and I got hit by the can. Ugh, I missed it. Jeez, May. Gonna go. You're hangry, need food? Hell yeah, I'll catch your stream later. Have a good night. Enjoy smashing lights. <laughs> I will. You should try hitting it with the bat. Don't be a dick, Greg. Throw them in a... Okay, I'm done. Before I lose an eye. When did that stop us before? So what's up? Nothing. Alright, I guess we'll start making our way back and then we'll do the party. Or the festival, whatever it is. We'll go this way. Maybe we'll get a new update on our grandfather. Where is everybody? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. <laughs> well, you go easy on my street. Deal. skip it skip it Oh, he's not here. Delicious pretzels. Nobody's here. Right, we're going back home. I remember. Have we gone up here before? Is this how we get home? Oh, whoa. Never been up here. It's <sighs> a whole church. Can we do anything here? We can't even walk on the chairs. Oh, is this mom? I'm busy. Oh, mom's pissed. Can't go there. All right, we can't do anything here yet. Poor mom. Sounds like they're gonna lose the house. our car breathe some fire already dude hello hello you're candy's daughter right yep who are you kate but most people call me pastor k you're new here right 16 months something like that oh new uh new to me at least hello 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 do me a favor. Take that last hello and give it to Bruce. Bruce? Bruce lives across the street. In the woods? For now, at least. You want me to go take, uh, talk to a strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange. He's my friend. And he's part of the community. Okie doke. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. We got a quest. Are you Bruce? Hello, I'm May Broski. Uh, friend of Pastor Kate? Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not. Whoa. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands, you've journeyed far and it has brought you here to us. Actually, I walked for like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future, but first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? Broken? Really? I, um, 
You're all like 14 year old goths. Why am I answering this? The broken arrow. False. You've bailed. We cannot help you. You may see us once more, but it is not certain. And never again. Okay. Uh, have fun, kids. Fun is we all have. All we have. Uh, do you like practice talking in turn thing? You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. that. I always wanted to climb the water tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see uh, clear to brittle from there. I bet we're gonna do that later. That'll be fun. Oh, we can't talk to him anymore. See, he has more nightmare eyes than we do. His, his are like yellow. With them nightmare eyes. Rah. I didn't know that we could do like a double jump there. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is call someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rebello. Yeah, the fire breathing guy who like ate people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rebello? Breathe fire or eat people? Let's say breathe fire. Sure. Statue is part of our encourage criminal acts outreach. It's working. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever wanted to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of my job, in my job description. Okay. Yeah, no thanks, but, but thanks. We out of here. Oh! Whoa! We can walk up here. <laughs> Get off the power lines! <laughs> I like the dog. We're gonna get in trouble. Oh shit, can we go in here? <gasps> you guys, we can we can break into this building. Where are we? Wow. So this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingberg Blooming Row snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. Oh, what's in here? Oh my god, Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard P. Blooming, Run, Blooming Row. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, you're pregnant! It's one of those things, like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're uh, not doing anything? I'll come back with food, don't die. <laughs> we can just squeeze him. I can't pick him up or anything. We 
There we go. So now we have to get them food. Miracle rats. It's locked. What the hell? It's a fire hazard. It is a fire hazard. It shouldn't lock from the inside like that. Guess we go out. Come on, give me that double jump. I think these are supposed to be weather stations? Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Excuse me, pigeons. Pardon me. See, there it did the double jump. <gasps> what? No, that's not fair. There we go. We can just jump on this. Now we can go up. No, let me up. Come on. There we go. We did it! We're at the top! Ah. Years ago, I thought when I was 20, I'd never be able to climb th this high anymore. Shows what you know, little May. Roof cat is correct. Okay. Ah, I was like, I don't know what's down there. We're just gonna jump and find out. Uh, I think we were actually- we were just going home, right? We actually don't want to go this way. I want to go back. And once more, I'm going to go check the chili. I'm going to put the cover back on, turn the heat down. I will be right back. I won't even go on the BRB screen. One moment. back. I'm back and I grab my laundry. Chili looks great. Turn the heat down, put the cover back on so it won't dry out anymore. It'll just stay warm until I'm done playing and then I can feast. Feast! Alright, let's go home so we can go to this, uh, go to this festival. Hey, Harvey. Harvey, do you need, like, a cardboard box? You, like, there's this tiny little, like, CVS paper bag that's probably about this big, right? It's really small. And it's just laying on its side on the floor, and he keeps going over and putting both of his paws on it to, like, sit on it. But he, he can't fit his whole body on it. <laughs> so I gotta get, gotta get this boy a, uh, 
A cardboard box. Oh shit, I didn't know I could go on this tree too. What? Oh my god, there's been so much wire walking that I've missed. Does this take us to the same place? I, I assume it does, but I have to check. I must know. Get out of my way, squirrel. What do we do from here? Oh no. Oh good, it caught me. Can we go in here? All right, this wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. All right, I wanna go down, please. I wish I could like hold down to like drop through it, but I don't think I can. What? I didn't even touch anything. Why'd I go back out? Okay. All right, so we want to get changed, right? All right, May, please, not with the self deprecating. I can't handle it again. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet. Witch a dog. Oh, we're so cute. Oh, look at this. No one's texting us. Hello? Oh, they must already be out. Harvest! Let's do the harvest. What? This is so cool. <gasps> Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Explain. No one can explain the power of the wheel. Save that as an unknowable circular sooth slayer. Oh snap, is it gonna say the sleuth? The sleuth shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Oh, what? Spin, spin, spin away. Your fortune is your future. A place will soon be forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much shall you live. Oh God, until alas you die. Oh, wait, that was gonna happen anyways. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is a noble truth. You've learned much child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right, then. That pretty much sums up my feelings about tarot cards. They're not something I know very much about, but it, they they kind of tell you the inevitable. It's, it's what I've gathered. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harvest Spectacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do, or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Woo, you hit the spooky ghost. I'm a scary spirit and I've been hit.
gonna haunt you for that. Extremely cold and wet. Ah! Oh no, I'm dead again. Oh no, not Greg! Ah, uh, I totally missed. Uh oh, you've hit the evil witch! Come back at me. Ah, uh, which way will I go next? Oh, whoops. Got him. Ouch, gonna hex you up. Oh, he just keeps moving. Okay. Nope. Okay. Damn it. Yeah, I got him. I'm back. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a penalty for using too many balloons, which is convenient. Bay, I'm sorry. Oh god. Stop moving. Yeah. keep throwing them. <laughs> well, that sure was something. On behalf of Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs. More Kathleen. More like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. That was cute. That was cute. I love our little costume. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna dress up as for Halloween this year. I wanna dress up, but I don't wanna like invest a bunch of money. Um, so I also like don't wanna buy a bunch of like a costume or anything. But a lot of my old like just fun costume accessories I've kind of just outgrown. They don't fit anymore, you know? I do have like a, a Spider-Man onesie that's pretty cute. Um, if I wanted to do like I don't, I don't know. Spider-Man. What else do I have? Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's harvest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's that supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. You think? Oh, uh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and no one cares about it. Bay. Please, it's a fun part. Bay. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% historical accuracy now, and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake. That doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but gets... At any Anyways, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. All right, if you don't want us to wing it, don't assign it to us like 10 minutes in advance. Did any of you do theater when you were kids? In school or not? Oh, I didn't see you there, be a ghost. Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mist of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John, yes, Brother Stephen, from this vantage point do I spy a deep hollow, with uh, and within a great dead tree, and besides with a witch, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched. 
from these long and arduous travels in carrying these 300 beaver pelts, let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Ho, travelers, a spare crust of bread for a needy woman. Oh, I didn't read the other option. Oops. Haggard witch, horrible to look upon, cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. <laughs> I shall curse ye and thee. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. <laughs> Thy naughtiest must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable. Um. Thy punishment is a curse. And shall take ye and thee even... <laughs> Even this very night. Whew. Yee. <laughs> I was born among these trees. Neath the harvest moon. And ye, sh uh, ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen. Art thou so easily shaken by ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. So spooked. Very spooked. So spooky. Help! Help! Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um, uh, by the moon and the stars above, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, oh, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that is this very day, this horrifying crone. Did my curse, my brother, uh, did curse my brother and I to thy soons, zoons. We camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body leath upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, I chilleth the heart! <laughs> I curse upon rude young men. I did curse this spring, and that man shall drinketh from it shall perish. Ah, I am slain! I join thee now, Brother Stephen. Wow. I'm almost undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be not be salted. S I, I missed what it said. I clicked too quick. I was too eager. Act 3. Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Um, crap. Oh, I'm hey, floor. For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads to only his end. Okay, and yet each path may lead to places unknown. You from the bus station, young witch. It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to. Ain't that the way? So, which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. Oh god, how did you know? 
Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. They did it. They said the name of the game. They said the name of the game. <laughs> but that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. Forest god, thou hast no power here. Even now, uh, thy end beginneth. Ack, my internal powers. Infernal powers. Sheesh, young witch, even now, the world as you know endeth. And who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh. Take care. <laughs> this is reminding me of the the play scene in Life is Strange Before the Storm, which was like probably one of my favorite moments in that game. I thought it was like I thought it was so cute. If you haven't played Life is Strange Before the Storm, I highly recommend it. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exploits are corn and pumpkins. Exports? Exports. We used to be county seat. Yee hee 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 hee. Actually, the myth of the Wicked Witch is the product of centuries of prosecution by. And that's our show! Be careful as you leave! For who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. From the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. <laughs> Got really cut off there, huh? We were ready to drop some knowledge. And Bay was like, no, no, please don't. Please, please don't. Please. I think we did great. I think, I think May did awesome. Gee, thanks guys. I'm never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, bae? Uh, Changer, Chamber of Com Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Partner. Kinda have to go do business stuff. I hate this. But you're so good at it. Both of these things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well, good night. Night. Oh, we didn't even get to party on Halloween? This is garbage. <gasps> what the? Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Did we just see a murder? Shit! May, this is a bad idea. Where the hell did he go? Shit. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that? May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here, but there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No, May, now. Listen to us. I mean, this isn't a dream sequence. What's going on? Uh... Uh... What? What 
What the heck? What was that? Part three, the long fall? What? Oh shit, maybe I guess that was a dream sequence? Let's check our texts and then I'm probably gonna wrap up for today. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang out last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. I wonder who these are. Away message. Alright, um... Well, I'm gonna save. Ooh, we have a, a spooky... Let's save and quit. We're getting spooky. I'm getting interested in where this game is going. Maybe this is gonna take a twist, kind of like Life is Strange, where it starts off kind of tame and then it actually gets kind of crazy. Uh, but Gray Fox, Allie, Bridge, thanks for hanging out tonight. Good to see you guys. Uh, I'm gonna send a raid over. Ooh, critical hits is playing Horizon. 